We'll start with Kajillionaire, the Miranda July movie hit VOD recently, um, starring Evan Rachel Wood, um, uh, Richard Jenkins, uh, Gina Rodriguez, mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of big name people, at least at the top bill. I mean, it's a pretty small movie in terms of character. Um, but Dave, I had no no idea this movie was coming out, and it was just I was simply just delighted by it. Uh, I thought it was weird and uh, probably one of the most uh, surprising movies, and that I would never have expected myself to like usually. But I think where it really boils down to is the Evan Rachel Wood Gina Rodriguez chemistry is just off the charts and really carries this movie um kajillionaire good bad in between yeah i liked it it's uh unique and i haven't seen miranda july's other movies but it seems to be kind of in a similar vein this is her first movie in is it nine years well known in the indie scene and kajillionaire again sundance movie later picked up by focus and Another movie that I just knew people liked it out of Sundance, didn't really know much about it. I just knew that Evan Rachel Wood had like long hair because I saw the promo. Like I didn't really know anything about it. And it's uh it's unique. It's its own thing. It it it's funny, it's perplexing, it's strange, it's a lot of stuff. But I think it's pretty entertaining and pretty easy to watch the whole time. Mm-hmm. And Gina Rodriguez in particular was a really big surprise to me. Mm-hmm. I think it was really well cast. Um uh, you know, like early on, you have Divine Joy Randolph briefly pop up as that like masseuse character, right? And when I saw Gina Rodriguez pop up when they meet her on the plane, I'm like, oh, okay, another like you know smart cameo. I didn't expect her to be in the rest of the movie, but I really like that presence. And yeah, it, it's just it's just it's just kind of a interesting, whimsical movie. Kind of a little hard to pin down, I guess, because I, I I have questions about like Evan Rachel Wood's old Dolio character, like. Another again, just kind of unique presence, but uh, I liked it. Yeah, um, Odolio, uh, old Dolio in the movie is a really um, tragic character, in my opinion. Um, really highlights the effect that a lack of nurture and care from parents has on your upbringing, your development, and I, I think I liked. Um, I really liked the, like the final scene. I guess for those who haven't seen it, maybe this will spoil a bit. But when they're like returning the gifts and they find out how much it was that it was a yeah. third of of that like, group, that it was more a story about like people are who they are, and it's about finding who you are. Um, in a sense, or at least that's kind of was my takeaway was mm-hmm. you can't you can't necessarily make people have a different nature, but that doesn't mean that you need to like bend your own to fit theirs. I thought it was a really powerful message and i have to say like the scenes when evan rachel wood was just like begging her parents to show her any sort of affection or care was really heartbreaking for me i thought evan rachel wood who you know most recently we've seen in westworld and plays a bit you know she plays a robot so her character's a bit mechanic she was like basically the terminator in this most recent season uh playing very flat a lot of the time seeing her use that emotional range while also kind of reverting back to this like stone, the stone wall character in a sense yeah. was, I thought really well done. The only scene, and I guess I wanted to ask you, how did you feel about the scene where they have the big earthquake and they think it's, it's the big one and then they kind of go off into space. It's all black. how did you yeah. feel about that? I mean, it's weird. Yeah. It didn't surprise me. Kind of fit what was going on. I had no problem with it. Um, I think my favorite scene is probably when they're, the whole crew is at that uh, dying old man's house. I think that was mm. probably the most effective in terms of like their cons and how the gears turn in some of their heads about like emotionally, like what they're doing and stuff like that. But I, I, I did struggle a little bit with uh, Wood's performance just because I really did, what, what, I wasn't sure what she was doing with her voice. Like it's kind of this like lower register, non emotive voice. And to me, it kind of made Odolio seem more grating than than she should have been because she is like a tragic character but to me i, I was just kind of annoyed by some of her tics at times like it just it just didn't seem like a presence i wanted to be around and again you know you know why that was but like 
it, it, it's a peculiar performance, especially once later on in the movie when she has a revelation, I guess, an epiphany and starts becoming more emotive and she's all happy in that convenience store. And it's like, still don't know what this voice is doing, but it's a quirky movie. I think, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, uh, Richard, uh, th- there's some, definitely some funny moments. Um, you know, I, I think, uh, every time, uh, divine joy kind of comes back in uh i really found myself just like giggling because she always just is playing such like an awkward like um no like this is not (laughs) how people interact kind of way like that straight man in a sense um i thought richard jenkins was great he's pretty much always uh solid in whatever movie he's in um i didn't really care for the mom too much um i i kind of thought i I mean and you know what that might have actually been kind of the point deborah winger i thought acted fine but really just found myself dying for that mom to show just to show old, old dolio any sort of affection it was really aggravating right. to me as a bleeding heart i guess um but yeah that that final scene where woods and rodriguez you know are like like kind of like crackling with tension sexual t- tension between each other i just thought was phenomenal and um did not see that kind of coming when they first met but you know, as the movie developed and they kind of grew closer, that like will they won't they really surprised me with how strong it kind of came on. Yeah, I agree. Um, because you're introduced to the characters early on, and they're you know they're like grifters, they're just low low rent con men. Mm-hmm. Like I, I think the movie has a lot to uh, sets itself out to uh, get you on its side because everyone's unlikable from the jump. But uh, July does a really good job with making old Dolio much more nuanced and well-rounded as a presence. Mm-hmm. And again, I think Gina Rodriguez's presence uh, really stood out. I, I, definitely my favorite role she's had, to be honest. Like, I didn't watch Jane the Virgin, but she hasn't really wowed me in the, her much of her movie stuff apart from, I guess, Annihilation. But um, re- re- I thought she was really great in this. And I think there's just there's just some funny stuff too in this, right? Like the over the top acrobatics Dolio does to avoid cameras, and the fact that they're living in an office where the bubble factory literally suds their walls. Like there's some there's some ridiculous ass shit in this movie too. So the, the, it's the bubble bubble factory owner uh, kind of you know being such a weeping willow in, in a sense, and yeah, like bleeding heart to them while having to like stand up. I thought was a really five hundred. It's very fair. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it is. Right? Yeah, especially for LA. Um, <laughs> any last thoughts before we move on? Uh, yeah, no. I mean, this check it out. Check it out. VOD. VOD. That's that's the way we watch movies now because of uh, we're still dealing with COVID.